I'm Edie Lush, and I'm here at the Hub Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased now to be joined by Ariana Huffington of the Huffington Post. Of course, thanks for coming in to Thank the pavilion. You. It's great to be here. I love the pavilion. It's good, isn't it? Bigger and better than ever. Yes. <laughs> Tell me uh, what you're doing in Davos, what your main focus is. Well, my main focus, certainly up to now, has been on um, the explosion in unemployment around the world, especially youth unemployment. We did a debate this morning uh, on CNBC mm -hmm. on that topic. And there's something interesting because in the West, you know, we have this phenomenon of downward mobility, especially in America with people leaving the middle class and entering the ranks of the poor. Mm -hmm. Suburban poverty is on the rise. Mm -hmm. And we're talking with um, economists from China, and Asia generally, and, and Latin America, where you, you have the opposite phenomenon. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be that way, you know. My um, hope is that America can course correct, mm -hmm. and that we can stop this downward slide to third world status. Tell me what you think are some of the solutions. Where do you think the U.S. should be moving? I think the solutions have to be both um, personal and community-based and government-based. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of things that people can do um, using social media, creative ways to find jobs, mm -hmm. turning hobbies and passions into jobs, using the time available when you don't have a job to help others rather mm -hmm. than simply mope. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, of course, the problems are really monumental and we do need the, the raw power of government appropriations mm -hmm. to have large infrastructure projects to use this opportunity uh, to move the country towards renewable energy. You know, we keep talking about right. it. We keep so do you think the government's doing enough? Or? Oh, not at all. No. Not at all. So what should they be doing? Well, uh, unfortunately, um, as Lloyd George said, you cannot jump across a chasm in two leaps. <laughs> and the government has been trying to do it in baby steps. And right. what we need is bold infrastructure projects. Um, a real a visa starter program that will allow entrepreneurs to come mm -hmm. uh, to this country from anywhere in the world and create jobs. Um, a payroll tax holiday so people can hire jobs. You know, Basically, we need to throw everything against the wall and treat this with the same urgency mm -hmm. that, we, um, that we gave to the financial meltdown. And do you think, where do you think we'll be, say, in five years from now? I think everything depends on what decisions we make. Mm -hmm. I think really everything is at stake. Mm -hmm. and we are on a very dangerous trajectory right now. And um, I'm, I'm optimistic that we can course correct, that we will course correct, but I don't know if the political will is there. Are there any states you think that are doing it right? I think there are communities doing it right, but states are in trouble. I mean, mm -hmm. we have... Um, um, states that are cutting vital services, which is going to affect our school system and it's going to affect uh, um, the future, you know, since we're not really investing in our children the way we should. Ariana, thanks very much for stopping into the Thank pavilion. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Edie Lush here at the Hub Pavilion in Davos.